now to turning to some developing news out of San Francisco. Two buses have crashed into each other. One of them is still wedged into a tight spot on the sidewalk. Uh, Chopper 5 was over the scene on Fremont Street. You can see one of the AC transit buses stuck in that spot right there. We also got this video from a witness shortly after the impact. You can see a pole toppled over in the process and witnesses looking inside the bus trying to help those inside. We know that at least four people were injured, including at least one bus driver. KPIX 5 reporter Susie Steimel is live with the aftermath. Susie. Well, Kenny, as Jacqueline just told us, and as you can see for yourself, Fremont Street still closed as police investigate this crash. And you can see why that bus still up on the sidewalk where it has been since just after 9 o'clock this morning. One of the pieces of evidence you can still see from this crash is those windows that have been kicked open. That is how the passengers got off of this bus, and that includes people who ran in to help after, including one woman we spoke with who helped keep this bus driver conscious. I just wanted to keep her alert, conscious, um, and just make sure that she didn't pass out. She did great. Danielle Marquis was on her way to work at a nearby dental office when she saw a bus careening down Fremont Street, striking other cars and an AC transit bus before coming to a rest on the sidewalk. Without thinking, she boarded the bus to see if the driver was okay. She says it's clear something went wrong before the crash. But it's very clear she was lightheaded and momentarily lost consciousness, just based on what she said and then also based on what the passengers who were jumping off of the bus were saying as they were leaving the bus. As soon as the bus stopped, everybody jumped out the windows. Chad Preston was on a job site across the street. He and other construction workers helped Danielle keep the driver conscious while waiting for medical attention. Four people were transported to the hospital. A few other construction workers say they were lucky to be able to get out of harm's way before the bus hit. My friend here saw the bus coming when we were underneath the scaffolding and he said, what the hell? So I just turned around and started running. The crash happened at 922 this morning and closed down a major section of busy Soma for several hours. Police say the scaffolding the bus crashed into is still something they're worried about. That's definitely a concern and so we're still needing to communicate with the building engineers uh, and see how it's actually uh, affected the scaffolding. This bus traveled down the sidewalk like this for more than half of a city block, taking out a sign along its way. We heard from so many witnesses and police that, of course, it was extremely lucky that there weren't more passengers or pedestrians on the sidewalk at this hour of the day in busy Soma. Police are telling us that at this point, the cause of the crash itself and the extent of those injuries are still under investigation. Live in San Francisco, Susie Steimel, KPIX 5.